here and I'm um, going to introduce you. Um, we'll be talking about it in class, but I just wanted to just start out and just something that you can go back to and maybe if you need something that's out of class, we're going to get started. So I'm just going to show you a little bit around the interface here. This is when you just open Photoshop and you can see some of my past projects that I've done, some of my art projects here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's open something new and you're going to create new and it's going to come up and it's going to ask you, Hey cat, what would you like to do? So I'm not sure if you've talked about 300 PPI means there's a, it's, um, magazine, um, quality, uh, pixels. It means the maximum amount of, of pixels. And, and so 489 by 593 is, is uh, print quality. Um, so you have letter size, you have 8.5 by 11, you have custom, which you can go in here and, uh, and name your project, and then you can tell it what size do you want your document to be that you're creating. Over here, you have 720p, which is for film. Over here is a, a digital Photoshop default, which is a, a photograph 7x5. This is still in 300 uh, PPI. And here is 72 PPI pixels, which is usually 72 is going to be for um, the web, anything that's 72, and then custom. Uh, for today, let's just say we're going to do, let's just do custom, just because I've got it up here. And let's make it orientated like this. I'm just going to go with the standard, and I'm just going to call it uh, our first project. And then, oh look, and if you want to find some template, um, stock, you can go right here. All right, here we go. So, oops, I've got a brush on here. I've been playing with. All right, so generally when I start out working in Photoshop, we have um, one of the features in Photoshop you're going to see is layers right here. And so you're going to bring in all your information, all your files, are going to be lined up here in, in, in um, the background here. So you want to go like this. I do double click on it and then that unlocks it there because when you have a lock on it, you it's you can't do anything to that layer. So and right here it's the lock. You can lock it again or unlock it. So when you lock it, then you can't, like I said, you can't do anything to the layer. So to import, here's all of our panel with all of our tools kind of going over the, the face here. Slow me down if I go too fast and let me have, you know, ask me some questions on this, okay? So we have lots of tools. We'll be going over the tools. Um, to import media, you're going to go in. Let's see. And you're going to either go to place linked or place embedded. I used to like to use linked. Photoshop used to be a little bit different. So we're going to go and use, let's see, let's just go pick out one of my, my files here. Let's pick up this pile of tools right here. And you're going to play, I'm sorry, I went a little too fast, but it said place. So you might say, but you know, Miss Cat, how, you, how big is this file? Because you've got this, it's not covering it here, right? So this is the actual area of the file. So I go up here to image, oops, wants me to place it, okay. What I, what I usually would do with this, let's just, let's place it. So to place it, I hit the move tool and it places it. So there you go. So you can either, let's see. So what I do to go find out what this image size is, like this image on this layer, I go up here and I look at image. So the image is not the same, but I do have a 300 resolution. 
but I only have a one, it's only 1.977 inches by 1.6 inches. It's not very big with a 300 resolution. So you want to be mindful of that. And sometimes I'll go up and check print to see what's happening here. So sometimes if we download something from the web, we end up getting something that's really small. See how much room we've got around what we're actually doing. So just so you know about that. So just for giggles, I'm going to go up big right now and just cover, cover the whole thing. There we go. Now, let's see, let me check this real quick. Don't do that. Don't do what I think. All right, so this is just for the sake of learning how do we bring in things and in, 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 import. So go in, you might want to, you know, we want to bring something else in to blend with this layer. So I'm going to import, I'm going to place linked. And, oh, let's, so let's bring in this hand. Oh, wait, no, is that what I want to bring in? Yeah, that's what I have up here. Let's bring in this hand. Now, that doesn't look great, does it? Like, that's not what we want. So let's, we're going to take in this right here, the X here, the way it's crossed. We're just going to do this for the sake of showing you how to do this. So I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And it says, is it okay? Yes. Do, we're just going to stick it in the hand somewhere, okay? But it's not quite right. So, so these eyes make your layer appear or not appear. Put a lock on it so that you can't do anything to that layer. If you come up here, you can move your layers around so that layer is on the bottom and you can't see it. Or you can move the layer around. So just for the sake of doing this right now, let's work on this hand. Now there's a couple ways that you can make this hand look like, take out, you see all the black around the edge? Let's see if we can do something by what we can do. So you can go up to the lasso tool and you can do a couple things. You could go here and exit all out, or you can go up here to the quick the magic wand or the quick selection tool. The magic wand, oops, I don't like that. Now, suppose you do that and you don't know, say, how do I get rid of that? You go Command-D, and that gets rid of that. So what I like to do for this is I like to use the magnetic tool and you can use this tool here, the magnifier, which will make your thing bigger. You can go Command Plus on your Mac, and that will make your um, image larger. So one good way to go is this has got a magnet tool on it. And I just go around. Da, 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 da. Anyway, see what I did? I don't have time to do all this. Anyway, and then you hit delete. So, oops, delete. Another of my famous things that you can do. Oh, that's why I'm not on it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So, oh, you have to make it into a smart object. Okay. Rasterize. Okay. So we have to go up here and rasterize it. All right. All right. So you can. One thing, um, so if you go up to your, oh, what is it, brackets on your computer, you can get your um, size down to, to come down to size of this brush. You can also go, let's see, the size of the brush here, if you go up here to the brush and you go down, that'll take out the size of your brush. So you want to make sure you can see all these pixels. I think I'm going to go up and do the quick selection one. Now 
that's one way to do it. It's just like go and catch all of these and just if you want to do it, if you're doing something really quick. Like I say, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on Photoshop, so we're just going to do some quick down and dirty stuff on here. Uh, so anyway, let's turn this back on. So you can see what we did. And like I said, there you can do a whole lot more clear. I did this really quick. And it's a way to combine two layers. Um, let's say you want to do text. Make your text box here. Let's do that on another lesson. I'm jumping ahead of you. Okay, so if you have any questions, this is like one of our first layers. We're just learning how to get around Photoshop a little bit. I may be jumping ahead of you. Let me know and we'll go over it. I love Photoshop. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to work in. And we'll, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.